Welcome to module 5. It is about internet control protocols. So in module 4 we have seen the main protocol used in the network layer of internet that was IP protocol right and IP is dealing with the data transfer that is how the datagrams can be forwarded or routed correctly to reach the destination. It is not bothered about the flow control, error control etc. Right? So no mechanism is there in IP to manage the network control. So this uh, network layer of internet contains a set of supplementary protocols also to support this main protocol that is IP. This module mainly focused on the support protocols to make this network layer function in a smooth manner. So these are the contents of this module. We have to go through different uh, internet control protocols. Those are ICMP that is internet control message protocol. ARP and RIRP we have already seen in Lexus 7 right then bootstrap protocol these are the protocols to support this IP then we have the multicasting protocol that is the internet group message protocol then routing across different networks that is inter autonomous routing using a protocol that is border gateway protocol or BGP then we will deal with this IP version 6 addressing and issues then the version 6 IP version 6 corresponding ICMP protocol also we will see and in this session we will see this first protocol that is ICMP alone. ARP and RIRP we have already seen in lecture 7 please refer that. Uh, and extra thing you have to learn about this ARP and RIRP is the packet format that you can refer the textbook. Okay. So moving to the first protocol that is ICMP that is internet control message protocol. As you have seen this IP is actually unreliable connection list service. Right? That means it uh, does not provide any method for error control and it also lacks assistant mechanism. Just for example, it, if it wants to check whether a particular router or host is alive or not, there is no mechanism in IP. So for such things, we have this uh, new protocol that is ICMP. And this ICMP provides this error control and network management with the help of a set of messages. And these are the messages used by this ICMP. First one is destination unreachable, then time exceeded, parameter problem, source quench, redirect, echo request and replay, timestamp request and replay. So these are the different messages. So depending on the scenario, corresponding message will be generated by this ICMP protocol in any of the router or host in which the corresponding problem is actually detected and the, such a message will be sent to the source. Okay. So this is how it's actually working. And all these messages used by this and ICMP can be broadly categorized into two different categories. First one for error reporting and the second one for queries. There is no error correction by this ICMP. It just report the corresponding error to the source which generate the corresponding packet. And the source error correction is actually left to the higher level protocol that is uh, into transport layer. And the second category is query messages. So under this error reporting category, we have this destination unreachable, source quench, time exceeded, parameter problem and redirection. And query, we have the echo request and replay, timestamp request and replay. So corresponding to each type of message, a type value is given here that will indicate what type of uh, message is, ca is carried by this particular packet. And this is a general format for ICMP messages. It carries a 8-bit header part and a variable size data part. And the first 4 bytes is common for all the ICMP messages and the next 4 bytes is, uh, depends on the particular ICMP data packet. The first field indicates the type of this message. So for each type a number is given here, right? So that type number will be filled here. And second, for the same type of message there can be different reasons, right? So what's the reason for this particular uh, type of message? That will be coded here. Then the checksum for the entire packet. Then the data section is actually carrying and the data section in error messages carries information for finding the original packet that had an error. So like uh, the header part of that particular packet will be there. So by using that uh, we can find the source and destination of the corresponding packet. And also some other field like uh, TCP UDP protocol field also will be there. So that this uh, error can be informed to the upper layer protocol in the sender host right source machine. And that information will be there. In case of query messages, this data section carries extra information based on the type of query. Let's move on to different types of messages. Destination unreachable is one error message. So whenever a router finds that, it's not able to locate the corresponding destination machine. Either the corresponding link is broken or the destination machine is down or due to some other reason, 
that packet is not able to deliver to that particular destination. In such case, the router will generate an message that is a destination unreachable message and that will be sent back to the source machine. Okay. Another reason for such a message is that when a router sees that the packet carries a don't fragment bit, that means that packet should not be fragmented. But this packet has to be routed through a small packet network. The maximum size is small. So in that case, if that packet is to be forwarded, definitely it should be fragmented, right? But uh, the packet wants that it not, should not be. In such case also, this router will generate a destination unreachable message and that will be sent to the source machine. And the next message is time exceeded. So different reasons are there for generating such a message. Uh, just for example, if there is some error in some routing table, what happens is uh, there can be some packets which uh, loops around the network because of these errors in routing table. And as you remember, this uh, IP packet contains a time to live field, right? Yeah, after ev every regular interval that will be decremented and when that uh, value hits zero, the packet should be dropped, right? So in such case, this corresponding source machine should be informed. Yeah, your packet is actually discarded. You have to retransmit the packet. For that, uh, this message will be generated by the router which finds such a dropping. Another reason if a packet waits a long time in a queue of a particular router and all because of congestion. And definitely after some time this corresponding time to leave will feel will expire right then also this packet have to be dropped and that will be informed to the source machine next is parameter problem it indicates that an illegal value has been detected in a header field due to some corruption just for example this problem indicates a bug in the sending host ip software or possibly in the software of a router in transition Okay, due to some uh, error or bug in a software, some of the values in the header field of a packet may be illegal. In that case also we have to drop the corresponding packet and the corresponding information should be passed over to the source machine. And next one is source quench. Earlier it was used for flow control. So IP does not provide any flow control, right? In such case, if there is some congestion in the network, router will inform the corresponding source machine to reduce the traffic rate okay, by using this source quench message. And nowadays, it is not used. So when a host received this message, it was expected to slow down. Okay? But it's rarely used because when congestion occurs, these packets tend to add more fuel to the fire. Right? Of course, the congestion happening because of too many packets in the network. Right? To reduce this congestion, we are sending few more packets yeah definitely that is uh, adding fuel to the fire so we are not using this method it is up to the transport layer to provide this congestion control another message is redirect message used when a router notice that a packet seems to be routed wrong okay due to some error in the routing table or something like that this uh, packet is not uh, meant to the actual destination it is uh, routed wrongly so yeah, it have to be redirected. It is used by the router to tell the sending host about the problem, probable error. And next one is echo request and echo replay. We have already seen these types of messages in routing, right? Yeah, it's actually coming under query messages. And this echo request is actually used to see if a given destination is reachable and alive. So upon receiving such a message, this uh, receiving node is supposed to send an immediate reply back. That is called echo replay. So upon receiving the echo message, the destination is expected to send an echo replay message back. So by saying this, it can find that yeah, the destination is actually reachable and alive. And timestamp request and replay is also similar to this echo request and replay. But the timestamp also will be noted in the message. So usually it is used for finding the distance or the time for uh, reaching a particular host or uh, router. right? That also we have seen in the case of... Uh, uh, routing algorithms and all so similar to echo except that the arrival time of the message and the departure time of the replay are recorded in the replay this facility is used to measure the network performance how long uh, so by seeing the timestamps recorded in the replay the round trip time from the sender to receiver can be measured by that it can measure the performance of the network this is an example for an icmp message that is destination unreachable message actually so the type is actually three we have seen different types right and uh, the same message can be generated because of different reasons the corresponding reason will be coded here here 16 possible reason can be there 
and the corresponding recent code will be here and the checksum value also will be there here the second part of this header is actually unused all zeros will be here and the data part carries the information about which packet actually suffering from such an issue right for which packet the destination is actually unreachable as part of the received ip datagram including the ip header plus the first eight bytes of the datagram data okay so ip datagram header is included so that the source machine can be identified the sender of the corresponding packet address will be there right it can be identified and also eight bytes of the datagram data actually this data part contains the uh, the transport layer data right so definitely it carries the port number of udp tcp etc so uh, this uh, upon receiving such a message at the center machine it can inform the corresponding upper layer protocol port number okay so for that the port number also will be there in this uh, packet now we are using some debugging tools like ping trace root etc right we are using such commands yeah ping is used to find if a host is alive and responding such that uh, trace root to trace the root of a packet from the source to destination and all internally these different tools use this icmp messages this echo request replay or different combinations of these icmp messages are used internally to implement these debugging tools okay so these are about icmp messages and icmp protocol thank you